my dad's make it hurt. This is the iPhone 12. Not the Pro, the 12. First, a huge thanks to the folks at Phoneshop NG for making this video possible. I would be leaving a link in the description to their Instagram page because yes, now you can actually buy the iPhone 12 and the 12 Pro from them in Nigeria. It's available in the description below. In some pictures, the iPhone 12 looks just like the 11. But trust me, when you hold the 12, you notice that it's a 12. And that's thanks to its new boxy design, its new boxy feel. You know, flat edges are not curved. But yeah, aside that new boxy feel, it's actually very similar to the iPhone 11, spotting that same dual camera setup. The cameras. Now with the iPhone 12, they have, you know, technically new cameras. They're basically wider apertures, but the real area where you would notice improvements is with extreme conditions. So especially night mode, yeah. Night mode is significantly better on the 12 you know, compared to the 11. And yeah, front facing camera as well supports night mode. So that's a plus. Sticking with the front of the phone, that display. It's a 6.1 inch 1080p OLED display. And for so many people, that is enough reason for them to upgrade from the 11 to the 12. We had most people complaining that the 11 had a bad display because it was 720p and an LCD. So considering the 12 now has a 1080p and an OLED display, forget it, the iPhone 12 will sell like biscuits. <laughs> like cheap biscuits. <laughs> OLED gives you those darker blacks, vibrant colors. Without a doubt, the display is definitely a very needed, much needed improvement from last year. And it's good that you know they've done that finally on the 12. Instead of the iPhone 12, we have the A14 Bionic chip along with four gigabytes of RAM. There really isn't anything to say other than, yes, the 12 would perform really well, just as good as the 11, and you really wouldn't see any difference, you know, initially, but as time goes on, you would, you know, notice that the A14 has advantages over the A13. The battery, it's a 2815 milliamp hour battery. But yeah, because of iOS optimization, you can expect that the battery on the 12 would do really well. It's easily a one day phone, especially because in most countries, 5G isn't available yet. So that means the modems wouldn't be put to work, you know, causing the battery to drain. So yeah, again, it's easily a one day, one day phone. Okay, so of course the price. The iPhone 12 is going for 485,000 to 520,000, depending on obviously the storage option you're going with. This is obviously a Naira. And then in India, it's going for 69,900 rupees. To be honest, that is a lot of money for a more affordable iPhone. That essentially is it. If you did enjoy the video, please drop a like and subscribe. And yeah, I should see you in the next one.